Hello everyone. We are looking at some laws of indices and if we look at number one, y to the power a multiplied by y to the power b gives y to the power a plus b, where y, a and b are constants. Let's look at an example. 4 to the power 3 multiplied by 4 to the power 2 would then be equal to 4 to the power 3 plus 2. which is 4 to the power 5. Another example, 2 to the power minus 6 multiplied by 2 to the power 1 would be equal to 2 to the power minus 6 plus 1, which gives 2 to the power negative 5. Looking at law number 2, y to the power a divided by y to the power b is equal to y to the power a subtract b, where y, a, and b are constants. Let's look at some examples. 10 to the power 7 divided by 10 to the power 3 will be equal to 10 to the power 7 subtract 3. 7 subtract 3 is equal to 4. So the answer would be 10 to the power 4 in index form. Let's look at another example. 5 raised to the power minus 6 divided by 5 raised to the power 2 would be equal to 5 to the negative 6 subtract positive 2, which is 5 to the power negative 8 in an index form. Let's look at number 3. Law number 3 says y to the power a raised to the power b is equal to y to the power a multiplied by b, where y, a, and b are constants. Example, 6 to the power 3, and on the inside we have the power 2, would be equal to 6 to the power 2 multiplied by 3 which is equal to 6 to the power 6. Let's look at 12 raised to the negative 4. And this is all raised to the power negative 1. This would be equal to 12 to the negative 4 multiplied by negative 1. Negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4 because a negative number multiplied by another negative number gives a positive number. So the answer is 12 to the power of positive 4. I hope this was helpful to you. Have a great day.